The full power bandwidth is defined as the highest frequency that a sine wave can have whose amplitude is at the maximum output of the op amp, the maximum rated output of the op amp without slew rate distortion occurring. Let's say that again. We've got a sine wave going in. Its amplitude is the maximum rated output voltage of the amplifier. The highest frequency that that sine wave can have without slew rate distortion occurring is known as the full power bandwidth. So for example, for an input voltage V equal to V out max, where again V out max is the maximum rated, out, uh, maximum rated voltage of the output of the op amp. So the voltage then is going to be equal to V out max times the sine of omega t. Now the maximum rate of change of this is going to be dV dt um, max will occur at, and I take the derivative of this, we're going to have omega V out max times the cosine of omega t. And of course, this has its max maximum at t equals zero. So the maximum rate that this input is changing is omega V out max. Now, the frequency that makes it so that this product, omega V out max, equals the slew rate is known as the full power bandwidth, and we're going to call it omega sub m. So omega sub m, then, is equal to the slew rate divided by V out max. That's the full power bandwidth in radians per second, and of course, F sub m, which would be the, the uh, full power bandwidth in hertz, would be then the slew rate divided by 2 pi V out max. So from this data sheet, we see that the rated voltage, the power supply voltages are 30 volts, or it could also be plus or minus 15. So maximum swing is going to be plus or minus 15 volts. Under those circumstances, we're told that the output voltage swing can be 28 volts or plus or minus 14 volts. We've talked about that before, how that if your power supply is 15 volts, you're never going to be able to get a full 15 volts of the output. You fall something short of that, and it turns out that this amplifier is about a volt short of the, of the rail voltages for it before it saturates. So our V out max then is equal to 14 volts, and the full power bandwidth then, um, F sub m will equal the slew rate. Let's just assume a slew rate equal to 1 volt per microsecond. So the uh, full power bandwidth in cycles per second or hertz is going to be 1 times 10 to the sixth, which is the slew rate, divided by 2 pi, divided by V out max, which is 14. And for these numbers here, it turns out that the full power bandwidth is 11.37 kilohertz.